Welcome to the channel, it's your boy the Hot Rodster here and today we're going to be going over the hero's journey represented in the first season of the anime series My Hero Academia. Since this is a long running show, the hero's journey is a little different than how you'd see it in movies. My Hero is structured by arcs and most arcs have their own 12 step journey. This video won't be analyzing the purpose of each step of the hero's journey in depth as it is more about identifying where the structure exists within the series. If you want an in depth explanation of the hero's journey, check out the video explaining the hero's journey with Iron Man. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's start with the first arc, the entrance exam arc. All heroes journeys start with the ordinary world. In this stage, we learn that the world is filled with people who have superpowers or quirks, if you will. It is a superhero society and the protagonist is a 14 year old kid named Izuku Midoriya. He has no quirk, but he wants to be a hero and he gets bullied by Bakugo, a boy with an impressive explosion quirk the call to adventure. This is when Midoriya got attacked on the way home from school by a sludge monster. He thought he was going to die, but then the number one hero, All Might, came out of nowhere and took care of that villain easily. Refusal of the call. All Might told Deku that he could not be a hero. While people have been telling him his entire life, this was the true reality check for him. The dangers of the job finally sunk in, and this is the first time Midoriya stopped believing in himself meeting with the mentor. Midoriya actually met his mentor, All Might, before the refusal of the call stage, but All Might really didn't take on the mentor role until after the second sludge incident. He was able to motivate Midoriya by telling him it was possible for him to be a hero. He also later gave Midoriya the training that would create a path for him to become the hero crossing the first threshold. This actually happened before the meeting the mentor step. Midoriya crossed the first threshold when he committed to saving his bully and childhood friend, Bakugo, when no other hero would step up. This was an act of will from the protagonist and it changed his destiny forever. Tests, allies, enemies. Midoriya's allies at this stage are All Might and his mother. Even though he felt like he didn't get enough support from his mob, you can tell that she is on his side. His enemies are all of those he is competing with for spots at UA, the Hero Academy. But enemy number one is definitely Bakugo, as it seems like he really wants Midoriya to fail. Approach to the inmost cave. This is when All Might told Midoriya about One For All and his plans to transfer it. He lets young Midoriya know that in order to handle this power, he needs to build up the right kind kind of body. The Ordeal Midoriya was tasked with cleaning Tacoba Municipal Beach Park as part of his training to receive one for all. It took him 10 months to overcome this ordeal. Reward As a reward, Midoriya got a strand of All Might's hair. By ingesting his DNA, the quirk one for all got passed on to him. The Road Back Midoriya got ready to take the exam and introduced himself to his fellow examiners. He didn't make a very good first impression with everyone there and his presence added a bit of controversy. Resurrection. This is the UA entrance exam. This was everything Midoriya had been training himself for. While he didn't rack up any points, he did use one for all for the very first time to save Ochako from the zero point robot. Return with Elixir. This is when Midoriya got his letter of acceptance into UA. Even though he thought he didn't pass, he was given an opportunity to become a student at the most famous hero academy in the world. That was the hero's journey for the very first arc of My Hero Academia. Not all of the steps are in order, but if you analyze the story carefully, you should be able to recognize the hero's journey does exist in this show. Let's move on to the next arc, the Quirk Apprehension Test Arc. It starts with the ordinary world. Midoriya was in the same place that he was at the end of the last arc. He is now a student of UA with the quirk one for all. The call to adventure. This is when Eraserhead had class 1A take a quirk apprehension test in order to analyze the skills of all of his students. Refusal of the call. In order to add stakes to the whole thing, Aizawa said that whomever had the lowest score would get expelled from UA. This was particularly bad for Midoriya as he recently just got his quirk so he probably was the least skilled out of everyone in his class. Meeting with the mentor. Eraserhead became the mentor figure of this arc. He told Midoriya that his quirk wasn't practical for hero work, because if he got too injured, he'd need to be saved by other heroes. This information pushed Midoriya to become more tactical with how he used his quirk. 
crossing the first threshold. Midoriya on the spot learned how to use one for all with his finger, which he used to throw the ball for the pitch test. He only injured his finger so he didn't need to be saved like usual. This demonstrated that Midoriya was learning how to best not be a burden to those around him. Tests, Allies, Enemies Midoriya had gotten some more allies since the previous arc. Before, he only had All Might and his mother. Now he has Ochako, Tenya, and Eraserhead on his side as well. At first, it seemed like Aizawa had it out for Midoriya, but after demonstrating his potential, Midoriya was now seen as worthy in the eyes of Aizawa. His enemies hadn't changed that much though. Bakugo still hated Midoriya and was clearly setting up to be a rival character. In one of the tests he had been going through was attempting to maintain a relatively healthy relationship with Bakugo without revealing the true nature of One For All. This arc didn't go through the entire hero's journey, but it does pick up right where it left off in the next arc. The Battle Trial arc, with the approach to the inmost cave. This is when Midoriya suited up as he prepared for the battle trial. The Ordeal This would be Midoriya's first encounter with Bakugo during the trial. He was able to put a lot of his skills to the test with his knowledge of Bakugo's quirk and fight pattern. However, even with his kicks, he still couldn't completely overpower Bakugo without his quirk, so he did his best to escape. Reward In the battle, Midoriya proved to Bakugo that they were both equals, and he demonstrated that he could fight without his quirk. The Road Back Midoriya attempted to remain hidden from Bakugo, but he was eventually found. Midoriya pissed Bakugo off with the fancy moves he used during their initial encounter, so Bakugo went all out. Midoriya could barely defend himself the entire time. Resurrection This is the final clash between Midoriya and Bakugo. This is where Midoriya finally decided that he had to use his quirk in a way that would help Ochako get the bomb and win. He resorted to this because Bakugo backed him into a corner and there was nowhere else to run. That Detroit smash was the climax of this arc. Return with Elixir Since this was a learning experience, Midoriya came out with newfound knowledge on what it was like to be a hero. And after this battle, he got to learn from his mistakes as some of the things he did wouldn't be practical in a real villain situation. And he also got to witness some of the other class 1A battles and compare them to his own. All of this information would help Midoriya become a better hero in the future. And just like that, My Hero Academia does another full cycle of the hero's journey. But there is one more cycle in this season. So let's move on to the USJ arc the final arc of this season, and once again, let's start off with The Ordinary World. Midoriya is a student at UA. We actually get a little bit of a slice of life with him temporarily becoming class president. His classes are a balance of regular school stuff and hero stuff. The Call to Adventure This is when Tomura Shigaraki entered the school when Class 1A was isolated in the Unforeseen Simulation Joint. He began an attack on this class in hopes of drawing out the number one hero himself, All Might. Refusal of the Call The teachers attempted to evacuate the students in order to protect them. This action let the audience know that they were losing control of the situation and it was dangerous for the students to be there. The stakes were high since lives were on the line. Meeting with the Mentor There wasn't a specific mentor that Midoriya followed in this arc, but he used the advice and messages from his mentors in previous arcs. He has internalized their teachings, so he has an internal mentor. He specifically draws from Eraserhead's lesson of making sure he's not useless after using his quirk once, because it makes it harder for the allies around him. Crossing the first threshold. This is when Midoriya declared that there was no choice but to fight and win. Mineta was a bit surprised and was skeptical about their ability to do anything. Tests, allies, enemies. Midoriya's allies during this villain raid was the entirety of Class 1A. Even Bakugo, who was an enemy and is still a rival, has become an ally for this arc. But to be more specific, his allies were Mineta and Tsuyu, as they were both the classmates he was isolated with. The enemies for this arc are obviously the villain invaders, and specifically Tomura Shigaraki, since he is their leader. Approach to the Inmost Cave this is when Midoriya started coming up with a plan to defeat the villains in the Flood Zone. Mineta and Tsuyu both revealed their powers to him in order to come up with an efficient strategy. The Ordeal Midoriya, Mineta, and Tsuyu put their plan into action and used it to both incapacitate all of the surrounding villains and escape from the Flood Zone. 
the reward. These students became free from any immediate danger and they were allowed the opportunity to make further plans to defeat the other villains or make an escape. The road back. The villains gained the upper hand on Eraserhead. Shigaraki almost killed Tsuyu, but is fortunately stopped by Aizawa's quirk. Midoriya attempted to attack Shigaraki, but got intercepted by Anomu. All seemed lost until All Might arrived on the scene. Resurrection. All Might took the Nomu on in an all-out brawl and won. In the end, he was weak and damaged from his battle, and he didn't even have the strength to move anymore. The villains decided that they would try to kill All Might one last time, but Midoriya heroically used one for all to jump in the way and save All Might. The villains had no choice but to retreat. Return with Elixir. In the end, everyone was safe and the villains got defeated. But most importantly, the villains did not succeed at their goal of killing All Might. So the symbol of peace lived to see another day. And with that, we have gone through the entire hero's journey from My Hero Academia Season 1. This season ended up going through this cycle a total of three times. Even though these arcs used the same basic structure, they didn't all feel like the same story over and over again. That is because there were extra details and events that made each arc feel unique. But when you break it down to its bare bones, it is quite easy to see the hero's journey that was followed. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like into Detroit, smash that subscribe button to see more My Hero Academia analysis on this channel. I currently plan to go through every season of My Hero Academia, so stay tuned for that. This has been the Hot Rodster. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.